The faculty here at Washington Park are a diverse lot. One new teacher this year will use her worldly experience to enhance the curriculum. Kara Constantine reports. Meet Miss Gazer. She teaches Earth Science here at Washington Park School. Her specialty is the environment. She has a degree in environmental studies from the State University of New York Binghamton. I've always been interested in the earth sciences, life sciences, and environmental sciences. I've studied climate and weather, um, geology, um, astronomy, um, everything related to earth science, and then some. And um, my, my passion definitely is environmental sciences and how the actions of people um, can affect what's happening on our planet. Although this is her first year working as a teacher, Miss Gazer has a lot of real-world experience. After graduation, she decided to become a Peace Corps volunteer. The Peace Corps is a governmental organization established in 1961. Its stated mission is to help people around the world to meet their need for trained men and women in basic medical needs, agriculture, language, the environment, and other specialties that promote health and development. I really knew I wanted to help other people. I wanted to do something that would have an impact for helping people and helping the environment. After a long application process, Miss Gazer was ready for anything. They can assign you to any country in the world that needs a volunteer, um, de depending on what skills you have and what projects they have needed um, skilled laborers and, and volunteers for in different areas. And I asked if I could go to a Spanish-speaking country because I had studied a little bit of Spanish in college as well. And when I got my assignment, I was um, given to, uh, asked to go to the Dominican Republic. With her assignment in hand, Miss Gazer was ready for the two-year trek of a lifetime. She left home here in the United States and headed for the Caribbean island of Hispaniola. The island is split between Haiti on the west and the Dominican Republic on the east. She quickly learned. The comforts of home would not travel with her. Among the challenges were frequent power outages. The electricity or the water could stop at any time, and you don't know how many days it may take for that electricity or water, or both. You can be, lose both at the same time, and you don't know how many days it may be till it comes back. Um, I was very lucky that there was a well near the house that I lived in, so I was able to draw water from the well when there was no longer running water. When you have to carry all the water that you use, you become very aware of how much water it takes to cook, how much water it takes to clean your house, how much water it takes to do your laundry, and um, you, draw, you build strong muscles because water is heavy. <laughs> when Miss Gazer got down to business, she taught the natives important lessons. I helped the community learn how to um, start a tree nursery so that they could grow shade trees for um, growing fruits and um, other uses, uh, useful trees like the wood. I also helped in uh, organizing a river cleanup because uh, the community I lived in had a river nearby and people were unaware of the effects when they threw their trash, they would go to the river and um, have a picnic and they would throw their trash on the side by the river or right in the river and to them it just floated away so they had taken care of their garbage. They had no idea that that garbage would then collect and uh, go and make its way to the oceans and could kill ocean and sea life. While Miss Gazer shared knowledge with her community, she benefited as well. I got so much out of it. I learned about a whole new culture, about a whole new country. I really learned another language very well. I had this wonderful feeling that I've helped people and I made really great friends. The people in the Dominican Republic were very open and warm and friendly and um, they're just great people there. Miss Gazer will share her very real world experience with her students. Kara Constantine, TBN.